Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's story and welcome to my channel. Now boy, is today's story a doozer. Like, it's absolutely insane and it left me speechless once I had read it. Not only that, but it had sent shivers through my spine. It's honestly horrific. Essentially, OP reaches out to Reddit because she finds herself in a really tough spot. She thinks that her husband is obsessed with her own boss, who I think OP really admires if I'm being honest. And this isn't just like an admiration of sorts. It genuinely sounds like OP's husband is obsessed. But she's not sure because everyone else is telling her that it's totally normal. Anyhow, let me just say that you should definitely stay tuned for the updates because things unravel insanely fast. I do hope that you enjoy this story, or at least my telling of the story. If you do, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up. And before I move on to the story, I just wanted to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys are so wonderful. For those that are new, if you do like my content and you'd like to support me, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and on to the story. My husband, a 29 year old male, is obsessed with my boss, a 38 year old female, and it's all my fault. I, a 26 year old female, started this job about one and a half years ago. I can't say what it is because I want us to stay anonymous and our country is very small, so my boss would probably be recognized. The moment I started, I felt like I was in the right place. My boss, the owner of the company, is very cool and kind. She's self-made and she loves her job. She does a lot of the dirty work herself that bosses who have 30 to 35 employees wouldn't have to do. But she just loves it. On top of that, we have a 6 hour workday, our salaries are about 20% higher than the market, and we have 7 paid vacation weeks a year. She appreciates us and she's getting rich anyway. I was so proud of working with a woman like her, so I wouldn't shut up about talking about her to my husband, especially in the beginning. My husband was as fascinated by her as I am until he met her in a Christmas party last Christmas. She must have been beautiful when she was young. She could have been a model. I think his fascination became a crush or an obsession, or maybe worse, love. Now he follows her on social media. Her accounts are private, but he stalks her on my account. He also follows the company's Instagram and likes every picture that she's in. He asks about her all the time. She's a very private person, but when her divorce from her ex-husband was finalized in the beginning of this year, we all found out because he started showing up to work. He owned about half of the company then and he started to try to make changes in our work hours and salaries. We found out that her husband had cheated on her with a younger girl who he also tried to employ in our company. She still works with us by the way. Our boss probably with the help of lawyers involved, eventually convinced her husband to sell her back his shares. We're still in this process now. My husband has followed all of this and he was so sad for her and so angry. How could anyone do this when they had a woman like her? If it were him, he would cherish her, love her, blah blah blah. Who leaves a woman for a girl? I got very angry and told him that all men prefer younger women if they could choose. He laughed at me and told me only losers do that. The last drop was last Friday. We were out for a movie night and we saw my boss with a young man. He looked to be in his mid-twenties. My husband lost it. He didn't know that she dated younger men. He wanted us to say hello but I refused and I yelled at him to control himself because he looked pathetic. When we got home, he was frantically going through her social media until he found the guy and he sighed in relief. The guy was her nephew and we didn't see the whole company, but they were out with other family members. My husband was so happy, like a huge weight had been lifted off his chest. I lost it. I started crying and yelling and I told him that he was in love with her 
and he was absolutely shocked when I pushed and I kicked him out of our bedroom. I then locked the door. He stood outside trying to calm me down, telling me that he loved me and that I'm his girl and always will be. Then he said something that ruined me even further. It's not like someone like her would look my way. I haven't slept since then. Why is he feeling like this? Is it love? Infatuation? She's too old for my husband, so what is it? And why would he think that he couldn't have her? He's very handsome and still young. She should feel lucky that a young handsome man likes her. And does he mean that I'm less than her to accept him? Or is it purely her money and status? He refuses to admit anything. And what can I do now? I love this job and I love the benefits. Thanks to this job, our life has improved and we can afford more than just bare necessities. I'm starting to hate my boss though and I hate myself for idealizing her in front of my husband. And then Opie added an edit. Sorry, this is getting longer, but I've spoken to my mother, sister, granny and some friends about this and about what happened last Friday and they all think that I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I just found out that my husband, who separated, is dating my boss and I don't know what to do. Hi, I'm in so much pain and I don't know what to do. I don't want to do something stupid while hurting. I got a lot of good advice last time I was here, so I don't know, maybe you can help me this time too? My old post is linked in my bio. I do hope that you read it before this one because I don't want to tell the whole story again. I went against my family and friends and asked my husband for a separation. I felt like my heart couldn't take it anymore. My intuition told me that my husband wasn't all mine. This was shortly after the events at the movies. My husband was in total confusion. He said that I was making a mistake, making a mountain out of a molehill, but he moved in with his brother. We decided to start couples counseling too. It went well the first three weeks or so, but my husband became more and more reluctant to participate, and sometimes he just cancelled on me last second. He stopped showing up this month and he also stopped calling and texting me. I was even more heartbroken, but it just solidified that my intuition was right and that I was doing the right thing seeing that he is not interested in working on us anymore. I also chose not to quit my job. I still loved it despite all of the heartbreak and I really needed the benefits. Like I'm the only one I know who's having a 3 weeks paid vacation around Christmas and New Year. I never see my boss anyway and she doesn't even know of my existence. My husband eventually stopped being active on Instagram and I thought that it was normal because we were going through adversities until yesterday when his brother shared my husband's story of the night. My husband was in a restaurant holding a woman's hand. I could only see her hand. So apparently, he has just blocked me and my family and friends from seeing his updates. I commented, what the F? And this morning, my husband called me. And for the first time in months, totally scared and started begging me, please don't ruin this for me. Please don't ruin this. I asked him what on earth he was talking about. And he said, don't tell her about us. I never made the connection at first. It never even crossed my mind. That woman in the picture was my boss. I started crying and screaming. How could you do this to me? I told him. How could you tell me that it was all in my head when it's obviously all over your Instagram? He said that it just happened. That I had dumped him. And that he was single and just happened to find her on Bumble. He begged me not to ruin this for him. She knows that he's in the process of getting a divorce, but she doesn't know that he already knew who she was or that she was the boss of his soon-to-be ex. They've been seeing each other for about six weeks. That's around two weeks after I asked him to move and is getting serious. He begged for a good five minutes telling me how he hasn't been this happy in all of his life and that I shouldn't ruin his happiness since, again, I was the one who ended our marriage. I've been crying since this morning. I don't know what to do. I want to ruin him and his quote-unquote happiness, but I don't know if I have any right to do that, and I'm so worried about losing my job. Please help. 
Okay, so my husband has been calling me non-stop and I have now answered him. He's panicking about me telling her everything so he begged me to give him the chance to tell her himself. His words were, I never stalked her or creeped on her. I just fell for her and was scared that she would think that I was creepy since you thought the same. Give me a chance to tell her the truth in my own pace so at least she doesn't think that I'm a liar or a freak like you seem to think. He still swears that he matched on Bumble. I didn't know that that's a thing until now, but apparently it's like Tinder. I'm just devastated right now. He has no regards for me and my feelings. Everything he's thinking is to not scare her away. When I told him that, he said that I was the one who left him. People fall out of love and that's okay and that it's no one's fault and that I was in the right for ending the relationship, but I was the one who ended it all the same. Don't hurt us and I promise to give you everything you want. She's happy with me so please don't hurt us, he said. Hi, I talked to my boss yesterday, on Monday after lunch. I told her everything. Basically, how I was so happy that I found this job. How I looked up to her and was proud to be working for someone like her and that this rubbed off on my husband who grew more obsessed with her each day. I apologize for using the word obsessed because I didn't know how things were between them, but that it was how I perceived his feelings to be. I told her about the day at the movie and how it basically made me realize that our issues were greater than I thought. I told her that I know and accept that my marriage is over and that my husband didn't love me anymore and that the reason I'm telling her now isn't to judge her or to blame her but to let her know the whole story because it's just fair that she knows that he's been following her for over a year now. Because from what I understand from my husband, you're under the impression that you just matched with him on a dating app, I said. She was silent the whole time I was talking, just listening to me until I mentioned the dating app and that's when she interrupted me. That's not how we met. He's been a patron at my gym for the past six months, maybe a year, she said. I know her gym and it's the one across our workplace. She works out there every morning before coming to work. I didn't know that he had joined it because I knew him to be a member at the gym near our house. He's been, without telling me, working out just across the street from me every morning without telling me. She looked like how I felt. Shocked. I apologized and I told her that he has kept dating her a secret from me and that he begged me not to talk to her telling me that he hasn't been this happy and so on. She didn't say much, just thanked me for telling her. Today, she asked if she could talk to me. She apologized for everything that had happened to me and asked if I needed any help. I said no, and she thanked me again. When I got home, my husband was there. He had called me at least 50 times, but my phone was on silent. He was crying, calling me bitter and vindictive and pathetic. He said that I ruined his relationship and future. She's scared of him now and it's all my fault. He wants me to tell her that he's not dangerous nor is he a pervert. He wants me to tell her that I was the one who wanted a divorce and that people fall out of love and in love and it's nobody's fault, neither is it creepy. He hasn't done anything wrong. He stayed faithful to me and would have stayed that way if I didn't kick him out. He asked me if I ever felt unsafe with him and why I made rumors about him being a stalker and a creep. I should tell them the truth. I asked him to leave and I told him that I'm starting the divorce and from now on he could only contact me once I got a lawyer through them. I've been crying since he left. We haven't seen each other for weeks and he has no feelings whatsoever for me. He looked demented and full of sorrow like a broken little boy. How could he change this fast? Before we separated, he held me and begged me to believe him and his love for me. Was it all a lie? Was my entire relationship a lie? Good night everyone and thank you for the support. This is a throwaway and I'll be deleting it soon. I just thought that I would update before doing that. So guys, what did you think about this? Please let me know in the comments down below. I am utterly shook. When I say that I am absolutely speechless, it's insane. The shivers that I got when OP's boss said that, no, that's not how we met. He's been coming to my gym. 
It genuinely felt like an episode of you. This is so scary. Like in what universe do you possibly think that it's okay to act like that? What is wrong with OP's husband? I am so genuinely glad that OP's out of that relationship and I'm so genuinely glad that her boss is okay. Although I do feel sorry for the boss because honestly it sounds like her ex-husband was also a really horrible person and she just sounds absolutely amazing. I wish her and her love life the best and I wish the best for them and OP. And now on to OP's soon to be ex-husband or ex-husband whatever you want to call it. I really really hope that he gets like proper help like not just going to a therapist but maybe going to like inpatient or something. It's insane. How do you think that your behavior is okay? It's not just the fact that he thinks that his behavior is okay. It's the fact that he has this deluded rationale that he's trying to get others to accept that it's okay. Like oh people just fall out of love. No sir, you're stalking her boss. It's wrong and it's weird and it's scary and you need help. Anyways, I'm ranting now. What did you guys think? I, I don't know. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.